Hi. So, I'm not sleeping yet. It is not that late. It's late, but it's not as late as other times. 12.15. I have been doing this... I think I skipped a year or two. Uh, since 2019. The Artist of Life notebook by Lavender. And I can't believe February is almost over. I started, I think, in my journal. That's the theme of this year. And it's all it's all going according to plan, honestly. Because I don't know if yeah. Theme for 2023. Bright, happy, magical. I don't care what I have to do, but I will be happy this year. Love, be fearless, work on my craft, connect with my space, with myself. That is the theme for 2023 for me. That is what I put at the beginning of the year, or December, something like that. I want to be alive. I want to be awake. I want to stop feeling so exhausted and like a zombie every single day all the time and I want to stop waiting to start my life if I don't know what the heck I'm doing where I'm going how to get there how to make it I have no idea how to get from where I am to where I don't even know where I'm going. Right now, everything is completely uncertain, but the one thing that I want to like pinch myself for is how that is the theme for my life. This year, if you believe in numerology, this is my first, my one year. Um... And I want to pinch myself when I think about how February went, how January went, how I felt like I outgrew this previous job so fast. All of a sudden, in a blink of an eye, I went from being somewhat satisfied and happy and good at work to literally within like days being not bad and frustrated and over it and trapped um and then i got let go of which i really wouldn't have thought of i felt like that was not gonna happen at least not like that and not then and it just came by so fast like such a fast wave and then right after I was let go of, is that how you say it? <laughs> I got this job that I came across that I didn't end up getting, but it was the exact, exact things, like almost word for word, almost everything 100%. It was like maybe 95, 98% of what I wanted in a job down to having freaking snacks. <laughs> like, if you don't believe that there's some kind of like force making stuff happen in some way out there in the world around us, I don't know what to tell you because... What I've been experiencing this month has been impossible. It would have been impossible. It's impossible without that. I mean, just... And also, you don't know my life and my previous months and years. And so to me, this is like out of nowhere. It's not in my control. It's not... I'm not making this happen. Um, to an extent, like, I show up to life and I do the best I can, which does not mean that I do an amazing job. It means I do the best I can. 
Sometimes I do a crappy job. Sometimes I do an amazing job. Um, but this February, this month, has been absolutely mind-blowing, crazy, weird, inspirational, and rejuvenating is the word I think I should say. Crazy, weird, inspirational. In parentheses. <laughs> That's like my review of February. And rejuvenating and recovering. I can't land on the perfect word but that's like close and what did i say at the beginning that it was going to be rejuvenating did i get sleep no i'm i'm actually sleeping worse than i ever did <laughs> well not worse but less well kind of worse because i go to bed so late am i hydrating more actually i am um ifs stit kind of did I lose three pounds? I lost two. Let's go with that one. <laughs> Which is actually pretty good. Um, and I have been mostly intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting. Intermittently fasting. Um, and I had written a new opportunity to start next month. Um, but... So for March, I will start my new job, and then I just cross that off. I don't want to limit anything. So I put what I want to earn by the end of the month, whether that be a job, whether that be consulting, whether that be... YouTube, I don't know. I have zero idea. But March, I want to earn a certain amount, a certain dollar amount. And in just that month. And um, go from there. And I want to get down another like two or well, four pounds, two kilograms. Um, and what I wrote for March is... March will be the start of my life. I almost wrote a new life, but I felt that was not what I was going for. That's not what I meant. The start of my life. Talking with my therapist was very inspirational, even though I freaking have no idea how to get to where I don't even know I'm going. But I also realize and notice that I've been saying that and I've been in this like little spinning circle for years. Get a job, try to figure it out, get a job, try to figure it out, get a job, try to figure it out, try to figure it out without a job, try to figure it out with a job, try to enjoy a job, try to make it on my own, try to figure out a better job. But this like little tiny circle that I keep spinning in like I just said it's not about whether it's getting a job or not getting a job doing it on my own not doing it on my own it's getting out of my own way which is such a common phrase it's I I put down something here. Believing in myself and stop waiting for permission to exist, to dream, to be, to live, to live my life my way, to be happy. I keep waiting for permission to be happy. I keep waiting for permission to exist and to live my life. I keep waiting for approval. That yes, you can do that arena, you're allowed to do that, you're allowed to dream, you're allowed to be, you're allowed to get this amount um, of income per year, per month. You're allowed to take up space by having this type of role, by managing, by leading. You're allowed to, you know, have a voice at the table. You're allowed to, I keep waiting to be allowed to have those things, do those things, be those things, be me. <laughs> like I keep waiting 
to be allowed to be me. How ridiculous does that sound? And yet that's exactly what I keep spinning in that small circle, trying to like do different, but I keep doing the same. And I don't freaking know, have any freaking idea how I'm going to get out of the circle. But I'm 37, I think. <laughs> pretty sure I'm not 38. I don't think I'm 36. If I don't do it now, when will I do it? I keep waiting. You know, you wait for a person, you wait for a time, you wait for a job, you wait for a certain income, you wait for a certain amount of savings, you wait for to move out, to not move out, you wait for so many things. But the the bottom line is I keep waiting for permission that's not going to come because no one can give me permission to be me. And no one should have to give me permission to be me. I should already have given permission to myself to be me. Whether, and like, I say this, not, not meaning anything that impedes anyone else's life like my me giving myself permission to be me is not at all taking away from anyone else's life so in that sense you know like no one needs to i need to like whether other people like it or not whether other people like who i am or not you know, I'm not hurting anyone, I'm not impeding anyone else's life, I'm not cramping anyone else's style, maybe style, but, you know, like, truly happiness and um, human, de uh, not decency, human rights and all that stuff. I'm not taking away from anyone. So, if I'm not hurting anyone, why do I keep waiting to be allowed to be I, so I just wanted to share that, even though I should be sleeping by now. <laughs> um, that that was my journey today. I was looking at pictures of my old self. I was getting inspired, honestly, by those pictures. Like, this is going to be tough to like share but like that <laughs> these are like from old Instagram that's another one that I love this is not gonna mean much of anything but I took this picture when I um, almost had auditioned, when I went um, for my first real first interview at CBS Radio, and uh, seeing that, I didn't feel myself there again. I could have been a radio DJ, I could have, not because they put me on necessarily, but like, I could have really dedicated, I could have done so much in the past, that was like 15 years ago or so, 20 years ago, I could have done so much, okay, not 20, but I could have been so many different things, and then this was from just a few years ago. It was, uh... Hey, y'all. Happy Friday. I'm going to share some words that I've learned in Japanese in the past three days and some that I've already known for a lifetime, such as Sakura, Sayonara, Arigato. Arigato. The new ones are Arigato Ohio, 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 Konbanwa, Oyasumi, Jane, Jamata, Sumimasen, Gomen, Gomenasai, Moshimosh, Nani, Kiyotsukete. Uh, 
and I go on a little bit more. I did that. I freaking learned Japanese. Not the whole language. I wasn't able to like really put. Maybe if I was able to put phrases together, but Japanese, Korean, and a little bit of Mandarin Chinese. I learned those in like a few months. Because so I was there at the job that I learned that. I was there for almost a year. And I started like halfway through. So yeah, like in about three, six months, I learned that. Um, I could write, I could read Korean and some Japanese and some Chinese, but Korean especially was like, it really write it and stuff. And um, I could understand like Chinese um, TV shows, like words, I could pick up words because they speak slower, the, the speaking rate is slower than um, I think Korean is the fastest language I've ever heard. Um, people say that about Spanish, but I think because I kind of know Spanish, it's not as bad to me, but I can see it might be faster, but um, especially depending on what region, what country you're talking about. But yeah. And then little baby with that. So cute. She's so cute. I miss her today. But looking through that, having that conversation with my therapist, I wish I had the answers. But I am going to enjoy feeling the spark light up again. Like, I, I can almost, I literally can feel, like, in my chest, kind of, like, vroom, vroom. Like, you know, when you're trying to start a car that's been sitting for a long time, and it's not really quite starting, because, like, maybe the gas has settled down at the bottom, I don't know, car anatomy, but, you know, like, you, you need to, like, keep trying and trying, because it's been sitting there for a long time. Um, and I'm hoping that it'll light up. I also received a, a message on LinkedIn, um, from someone who, I think they're just, like, trying to, like, earn their way, you know, to a good life, to a livable life. Um, but we have someone in common that I trust, so, um... I'm curious where that journey takes me. And again, in February style, in tw February 2023 style, it came exactly when I told the universe. Without, like, I wasn't praying, I wasn't telling the universe exactly, like, hey universe, hey God, this is what I'm doing, this is what I want to do, here we go. I didn't do that specifically but inside I did that it was a, an internal decision that was in my heart it wasn't in my thoughts in my speech in my words and um and that's like what's ha been happening the whole month keep making those decisions those things and they keep happening they I keep getting these offers in front of me based exactly on what I subconsciously ask for. It is amazing, and we'll talk more maybe tomorrow or whenever. These things usually don't work out. Like, the interview didn't quite work out. Um, maybe this won't work out either. But, again, I think visualization of that car that's been sitting there for a long time and it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I saw no car noises <laughs> um that's been that's like I'm trying to like 
turn the engine on and it's clumsy and it's not gonna be every single time I hit and it's not gonna turn on until it will turn on. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, that's how I feel. I don't know. Maybe in a month you'll see me at like a very low paying job <laughs> or like a high paying job um, selling my soul or in a beautiful job that's like perfect for me or not in a job at all and doing it on my own. I don't know where I'll be in a month. Um, I'm hoping that I will not be in the same place that I've always, that I've, I keep being. I'm hoping to be in a step forward, no matter how that looks like. Yeah, this will, I'll, I'll keep this as an independent video, um, as opposed to like vlogging, you know, 24th of February, or technically I guess it's, on 25th <laughs> um so yeah I'll, I'll keep this on its own because i feel like it deserves its own spotlight pun not intended but kind of i'm gonna go with it um sorry for the low lighting sorry for the blurriness or sorry for the qualities um, hopefully you can hear me. I'm trying to not be too loud for the neighbors, even though I'm probably still loud enough. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that, because I know I hate it when people <laughs> are loud and I'm trying to sleep. But have a wonderful night, have a wonderful day. Spread peace, spread love, spread kindness. Um and spread happiness and be happy. Cool. Peace, love, and compassion. You.